Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. Today I will discuss a problem which comes in CHNA June 2023 in Mathematical Science. Let's see the problem. Consider the variation problem P given by this with initial with boundary condition y0 equal to 0 and y1 equal to 0. Which of the following statement is true? Okay. So we are given the function what? fxy y dash equal to y dash square minus y mod y y dash plus x y. So what is mod y? Mod y equal to y when y greater than equal to 0 and minus y when y less than 0. So fx y y dash what will be become? is become y dash square minus y square y dash plus x y when y when y greater than equal to 0 and y dash square minus minus plus plus y square y dash plus x y when y less than 0. So, if x y become this now for the solve this for the solving this problem we have to know euler lagrange equation what is euler lagrange equation euler lagrange equation is d dx of del f del y dash minus del f del y equal to 0 this is euler lagrange equation we have to solve this with boundary condition y0 equal to 0 y1 equal to 0 so here we here two cases is arrived so first we solve for y greater than equal to 0 then we solve y less than 0 so when y greater than equal to 0 fxy y dash equal to y dash square minus y square y dash plus x1 and when y less than equal to y less than 0 fxy y dash becomes y dash square sorry i should be square y dash square plus y square y dash plus x1 so first we calculate del f del y dash equal to what 2y dash minus y square from this we get 0 so d dx of del f del y dash what equal to 2y double dash minus 2y into y dash now we calculate del f del y so what we get from this term we get 0 from this term we get 2y y dash plus x so from euler lagrange equation what we get we get 2y double dash minus 2y y dash minus 2y y dash plus x equal to 0 so basically we get we get 2y double dash minus 2y y dash plus 2y y dash minus x equal to 0 this term this term cross up we get 2y dash minus x equal to 0 so if we solve this equation we get y double dash equal to x by 2 implies if i want to get once then we get y dash equal to x square by 2 into 2 into minus 4 plus c1 if then we integrate what we get if then we integrate we get y equal to x square x cube by 4 into 3 means 12 plus c1 x plus c2 where c1 c2 are arbitrary constant okay where c1 c2 are arbitrary constant now given that now given that y0 equal to 0 so y0 equal to 0 what is given 0 equal to c2 and y1 equal to 0 given so what we get 
zero equal to one by twelve plus c one c one okay then c one equal to minus one by twelve okay so what we finally we get y equal to y equal to x cube by twelve minus x by twelve. So basically we get if I take one by twelve common, then we x on x by twelve common, then we get x square minus one. Okay. So the solution finally becomes y x equal to x by twelve into x square minus one. Now from this case, what we get? From this case, we get uh, del f del y dash will be two y dash plus y square. So d d x of del f del y dash equal to what? Two y dash all dash plus two y into y dash. Okay. Now del f del y what we get? Zero and this term two y y dash plus x. So from the Euler-Lagrange equation, from the Euler-Lagrange equation, this one, what we get? Two y double dash plus two y y y dash minus two y y dash plus x equal to zero. So this term, this term will cross off. So basically, we get two y double dash minus x equal to zero. Here also we get this one. Here also get same and in boundary condition same. So we will get the same solution. So we will get the same solution. X square by twelve. Sorry, x by twelve into x square minus one. X by twelve into x square. X x by x by twelve into x square minus one. So we get the solution for the both for the both cases. So y x equal to x x by twelve into x square minus one, x by twelve into x square minus one. So this solution is not identically zero. You can see this is not identically zero. So in first option, what is said, t has no stationary stationary function. So we get a stationary function. So this option is false. One is false. In option two, what is said? Y equal to identically zero is the only stationary solution. We get non-identity. Uh, we get non-zero solution here. So option two also false. In option three, what is say? P has unique solution, stationary function. Y not identically equal to zero. This one is true. We get unique solution for the both cases of Y. So we get unique stationary function. This one. So and it is not identically zero. So option three is true. In option four, what is said? P has infinitely many stationary function. That is false because we get the unique solution, unique stationary function. So option four is also false. So only option three is right. Thank you for watching this video.